Hello, fellow searchers and collectors. Welcome to today's recent online currency sales roundup, where we are going to discuss recent online sales of some very neat and valuable dollar bill errors and fancy serial numbers that people are finding in places such as spare change that you get from a trip to the store. Uh, people are finding them in the cash they get from tips if you're a waiter or a waitress or you know work at a coffee shop or places like that where you get cash on a regular basis. Or perhaps you go visit your local bank and obtain some bank straps of $1 bills like this to search through. Uh, these bills we're gonna look at, uh, they, uh, uh, they are being sold online for much, much more than the $1 face value. There is actually a very huge market for this out there in Cyberland. So I'm gonna be focusing mostly on small bills, mostly $1 bills, maybe some twos, uh, with an occasional large bill if the sale is just incredible and something you have to see. Uh, and we have a doozy today for the last one, so you don't wanna miss that. Uh, the reason why I do these videos is because most people have no idea that these bills have any value at all besides the one or two dollars face value, uh, or that selling dollar bills for more than a dollar is even a thing, which is why I wanna try to educate people to give you the knowledge and desire to look for these bills that you come across to put extra money or cash into your pocket. Uh, so there's many, many types of notes uh, that sell on the secondary market, and we'll be looking at, you know, we'll hit all of them as the, um, as the reports continue or, or as the roundup continues. Uh, so um, we can't show them all in one video, of course. Uh, so the good thing about this is that uh, these do not need to be graded for the most part. Uh, the bills will just pretty much sell themselves just based on uh, what the bills are. And uh, it doesn't really justify spending money for grading because the cost of grading would just eat most or all the profits away. And these notes really just speak for themselves in this uh, raw condition that we're gonna take a look at, all right? So um, uh, these bills or these notes, um, for the most part, are sold online, uh, uh, where you have the most amount of buyers that are looking to purchase uh, uh, this type of currency. Uh, so um, I wanted to show you before I start uh, uh, the last thing here, if you're a searcher and you're looking for, for notes to, uh, you know, for your own collection or to sell, you may want to take a quick snapshot of this. Um, on the top is the process for searching currency. And then on the bottom is a, a pretty exhaustive list of the fancy serial numbers that you'll be coming across and that we'll be looking at here in these videos with the online uh, sales roundup. Uh, so go ahead if you want to pause the video and take a snapshot of this. Uh, these are the types of things that you'll be uh, looking for uh, and that we're going to focus on here, okay? All right, so go ahead and take a picture of that and then promise you'll come right back. <laughs> All right, so um, without any further ado, let's take a look at some of the recent sales of some uh, currency uh, that was uh, sold recently online. This first one here, uh, and I'll tell you, there's a lot of uh, duplicate star notes uh, from 2013 that are being sold. This one here uh, sold for, uh, for $27 with 29 bids. And uh, the photo could be a little bit better, uh, a little blurry, a little dark, and uh, could be a little bit closer, but um, it did sell uh, very nice. This is a 2013 New York uh, duplicate star note with number two there. It starts with a, a letter B. Uh, did sell for $29. Uh, so people are finding these right in circulation. Uh, so they're out there for the taking. So if you didn't see my video that I just did on this, um, I, I did show a video recently, I think yesterday, uh, of um, what they are, how to find them, how much they're worth, and things like that. So the next one we have on the list here, this is a web note. Uh, and, and look at this. Uh, look at the, uh, the condition of this. I mean, this has creases in it, folds, it's worn. So this was just in circulation. And somebody, you know, somebody found this uh, and pulled it out. This is a 1988A. This is the first year of the web notes. Uh, this was an experimental process uh, of printing... Uh, uh, dollar bills that the uh, that the BEP did, uh, 1988A, 1993, and 1995 is the the year that these were done. Uh, so this one sold for $22.50 with 11 bids um, in that condition. If the condition was better, it probably would have sold for even more. So this is something you definitely want to keep your eyes open. And I just also did a video on these, uh, how to identify them by just having. Uh, uh, the number there instead of the letters. Like right here in this web note, you'll see there's just the number there. Uh, other dollar bills that you see are gonna have, 
are going to have the, like here, you'll have the, a letter and the number, but a web note is just going to have the number by itself. And then on the back of the note, uh, you will have the, uh, the back plate number up here above the E and next to the motto instead of below like a normal note. Okay. All right. So that is a, a nice sale of a web note. So keep looking for those. The next one we have here, this is a complete ladder. This is uh, the serial number goes one through eight. Uh, so, uh, this is a complete run uh, uh, of the serial number of the letters 1 through 8. Uh, this one sold uh, for uh, a best offer accepted, probably around $10 or so. Uh, so, a very nice sale there. Uh, this is something that you wouldn't even know if you had this bill, that it was even uh, worth more than a dollar. So, definitely something that you want to you know, keep your eyes on as you're uh, looking through notes as well. This next one here. Uh, this is a nice one. Uh, check this out. This sold for $200. This is a seven of a kind serial number. Um, uh, these are quite rare and can sell for a lot of money when you find them. Uh, so you have seven threes here in, in this one. Uh, and um, uh, a nice find. Uh, you know, people would, and, and look at the condition of this. How many times was this, you know, going through someone's hands or being you know, given to somebody at the store or put into a vending machine? I mean, look at the condition of that. I did check to make sure. I did look at 130point.com, and I did make sure that this actually did sell uh, down here in the bottom right for $200. This is a great website where you can check out recent eBay sales. Just type in the, um, uh, type in the description there, uh, and you can see this did sell for $200. So very, very nice. Nice find there. Nice sale. Um, this next one here, uh, this is a, a five of a kind. This is five zeros. Uh, this did sell for $16.99. If this was a leading five zeros or a trailing five zeros at the end, it probably would have sold for more. But, um, you know, this is a type of bill that, that people are finding that you have no idea is worth more than a dollar. Uh, so um, there's a lot of these that, um, that I come across and a lot of these that are sold online. Uh, so something definitely to keep your eyes out. Uh, it's in pretty nice condition as well. Uh, so um, a nice sale there. This next one here, this is a solid consecutive, I know it says consecutive, it says consecutive four in a row ones. Uh, that's leading ones right there. Um, and um, so leading ones or, uh, or trailing ones at the end, there's definitely a market for that out there for people uh, to sell. Uh, so if you have any of these in your wallet or your purse, certainly want to keep your eyes on these. Uh, $15.99 is a good amount. Uh, you know, it's a uh, it's good, good amount of, uh, uh, of a sale there to put in your pocket. Uh, so keeping, you know, anything, ones, twos, sevens, eights, nines, zeros, leading or trailing is certainly a good opportunity for you to, uh, to make some extra cash. All right. The next one we have here, uh, look at this one. Uh, this is six threes in a row. Now, this was actually done by auction. This was not a best offer. Uh, so they started at 99 cents with this auction, it was 26 bids. Uh, so you have six threes here, uh, one three uh, followed, I'm sorry, seven threes, my apologies. You have one three there and then followed by six threes at the end. So this is seven threes. Um, I, would, uh, I would say that this probably would sell for quite a lot more if this was not done in auction style. If this was done in a buy it now, it probably would have sold for quite a bit more than what it did. So something to keep in mind as you go to try to uh, sell these online, uh, you certainly want to consider uh, doing it with a buy it now for a, a larger value than just doing it as a, as a traditional auction style. But no, nonetheless, it did sell for $46 with $6 shipping. So, you know, around 50 bucks uh, for this nice seven of a kind, a $1 bill. Just like the previous one that I showed you sold for a lot more, uh, this one over here, because it was sold as a buy it now for $200. So you see the difference? Condition is probably you know, somewhat similar there. All right, the next one here, uh, this was uh, listed as a trinary ambigram or rotator flipper. Um, it's not a true flipper, or, or, or I'm sorry, not a true ambigram. A true ambigram would be 0660990. When you flip it over, it would also read 0660990. Uh, but um, it did sell 
for um, $19.99, about 20 bucks. A great find there. And um, uh, so these are out there. So the, the numbers uh, uh, that you wanna look at when you look at flippers are the zeros, the ones, sixes, eights, and nines because they look the same uh, uh, upside down, okay? So a nice sale there. Um, here's another one here. This is uh, five in a row, threes, uh, right in the middle of the serial number there, uh, two eight and then five threes and a nine. Uh, so this one sold uh, for a buy it now, uh, uh, $31.99. Again, when you sell something for a buy it now, it's probably for the most part, in most cases, is gonna sell more than if you sold it by, by an auction style, an you know, auction method. All right, so this one sold for $31.99. Uh, looks like the bill's in pretty nice condition. Uh, the pictures could have been a little bit better. Uh, you know, may have gotten a, a higher amount if it was, uh, you know, better photos. Um, but um, nonetheless, it did sell for $31.99. And then this last one that we're going to look at here, I just want to show you. This is the doozy I was talking about. And this just sold on April 9th, just a week ago. This is... Um, I just did a video on these. These are the duplicate serial numbers. Uh, and this one, this is a duplicate uh, matching set of the same serial number. I know it's hard to read there, but this is, uh, this is the Fort Worth uh, version up here, and this is the DC of the uh, duplicate serial numbers. Uh, these were sent in for grading uh, to PMG. This was graded as a 30, and this one below here was in much nicer condition, graded as a 65. Uh, almost, I'd say almost uncirculated there. But these two matching serial numbers, if you're fortunate enough to find uh, the same serial number for the 2013 uh, B uh, series, uh, you can sell it. This one sold for three bids here um, on eBay, a matched pair, duplicate serial number, sold for $5,138. So this is definitely something that you want to keep your eyes open for. Uh, because if you find this, the matching serial number for your, uh, for your bill that you have, um, wow, look out. You can really hit a home run there. Uh, so, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the recent online currency sales roundup. Uh, uh, there's a ton of cash out there to be made. And all you need to do is continue searching. Uh, and and you'll, come, you'll run across many of these bills. If you're not doing it, you're really missing the boat. So, all right, folks. Well, until next time, keep on keeping on, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.